What's up, guys? How you guys doing? You can see where I'm at. I'm over at Walmart now, and it's uh, almost Christmas Eve. It's like Christmas Eve Eve. It's like about 20 minutes away from Christmas Eve. So what? I have to go here to get some a couple last minute things. So I'm gonna go check out the last minute Christmas Eve shoppers for Christmas and holiday fun. Let's go in there and check it out and see what kind of stuff. How kind of madness is going on there at Walmart? Maybe hit up Target too. I think they close. But just go in there. I got a couple of last second things, like some goofy stuff like candy. So let's go do that. Why am I doing this? I don't know. All right, so here we go. This is actually the Walmart where I got that movie, The Fanatic, at. So as this came here, I, th I think they're open until midnight or maybe a little bit later. I don't totally know. But I'm going to go, I got to get a few odds and ends. So I'm going to go in here and uh, just get that stuff. And, uh, you know, so I can get, you know, last minute Christmas shopping. And all I want for Christmas is some styrofoam and whatever the hell these are. It sort of reminds me of like almost like a like Black Friday, but not it's like, like a reverse Black Friday. This thing, this one here is, is a little bit a little bit messed up. I don't think no one's getting that one. That's why it's still there. But I do need to get a couple of last minute things. I was gonna get a uh, a shopping cart. I should have got a shopping cart to put the stuff in, uh, but I, I didn't do that. Like like a smart man, I did not get a shopping cart. Maybe I'll find one like around here. I can just like grab it or something. I don't know, but we'll have to see. Or else I can hold it. So I do have to get like some like fish stuff for the fish. Also got a couple odds and ends like little candies and and you have to get some socks. You know, you, you got to get socks for someone for Christmas. You know, if you don't do that, it's it's not really Christmas, right? So maybe I'll get some socks or something. I don't know, like stupid stuff. But we'll see. It's like. Everyone's like in a, in a panic to get like the last minute gift, uh, you know, things. I know I, I am, um, I'm usually always late too when it comes to, um, you know, Christmas gifts, holiday gifts, that kind of thing, because um, I don't know, it just happens. Like I, I try to like get it on time and plan ahead of time, but I never do. So I figure I'll come over here and check out like the panic, like definitely the toy aisle. Everyone's gonna get the toys. I'll check this out. It's always kind of funny. It's like everyone's like looking for like a, like a last minute things to get to put in the stocking or whatnot. So let's go over here and check it out. Like the chaos. I don't know what time this place even closes. I think it closes at 12. I don't even know. Maybe it's open 24 hours. I'm not even sure really. I'm trying to find like a, a certain area, but I can't find it. It's like weird. I'm looking around, and there's, there's not even like a um, empty shopping cart. I thought I would find somewhere, like a, like a cart or something. Oh, I think over here, maybe, maybe, maybe this cart. I think I see a cart. I don't know if this is anyone's cart. They just grab it. I don't think it's no one's cart. Oh, yeah, I can just, I can just take this cart. Here we go. This might work. I'll, I'll take this. It's like a jacked up car. I don't want to see it. It's like a jacked up squiggly car. Look at this thing. It's like a messed up car. It'll work. I can put some stuff in there, but man, what a... Oh, it's like a it's the deformed car. Oh, well. No wonder this car is by itself. It is, um, it's pretty messed up, this car. It is like, listen to this thing. Sounds like crap. I don't think I can use that. All right, so for my thing, I got the uh, the fish stuff up here. Now um, off to other stuff. I think right there, it's, it's one of those Walmart robots up here. It's like charging or something like that. See it? It's like it's doing like a charge right there. So it's like doing like a little. Oh, so I was hoping this thing would like walk around. I always wanted to, I wanted to see one of these in person. It's like those robots that like scan things and stuff like that. Yeah, see. Robot at work, high intensity lights. So there's a robot. But I wish it was working right now. That'd be awesome. It'd be a trip, you know? And I just overheard, I guess it closes up pretty soon. I started like it closes at 12. So I have like 10 minutes to get some little odds and ends. Like little, little goofy things, like you know, little candies and, you know, little little odds and ends like that. I don't know. Just little things they have for the pad, you know? Some of my mom come over and stuff like that. Just, you know, stuff like that. Little, little stocking stuff for things. And all that kind of deal. What the heck are these? Like, what are, oh, oh, it's, oh, this is a gross fruitcake. God, oh, it's so nasty. These things, like a fruitcake? 
Oh man, yeah, ugh, who, who eats these? I don't know. Like, oof. For some reason, I, I do, I, I do like these, but I don't like the dark chocolate ones, but I do like the regular milk chocolate cordial cherries. I know some people don't like them, but I kind of like those. I'm, I'm weird that way. These are a bit too much. Like, these are, these are a bit too big. I don't know who, who would eat all these, but those, it's a bit too much of these. And like now everyone's like in a panic to do self-checkout and do cash register stuff because it's like with the clothes up and things like that. So it's kind of funny. So I just left Walmart. I'll show you what I got. The most randomest things. So I started off with the, you know, some fish filters, you know, because they don't have the, the, like a big box. I had to get these little small ones, these little pellet things, <laughs> um, some English muffins, a box of Skittles, a box of Starbursts, and these random things of gold chocolates. And I, you know what? I forgot to get the stupid socks. So oh well, but oh well, it happens. I was in a panic because it closed really early. So let's get this. So now off to who knows what. Right, now I am back home. I was gonna hit up like some other places, but pretty much everything was like closed. I should have went a little bit earlier. I was kind of busy with like at work and other things like that. You know, I had to do some other kind of stuff. So I was like, ugh, but it was, it was cool hitting up like in a Walmart. And I did have to get a couple like last second things. I might, I might have to even go tomorrow morning possibly too. So who knows, I guess he's a like, typical guy, last minute. I should get this stuff way ahead of time. I always try to, but I never do. I'm sure you guys are the same way, some of you out there. But it's just like you know, one of those weird things. But yeah, I might as well just show a couple of uh, Christmas holiday movie recommendations that I've uh, already seen recently. I always watch this traditional thing, or what I'm going to watch uh, coming up soon next, you know, today and tomorrow. I'll show you right now, just real quick. I'll probably show these last year, but I'll show them again. Just what the heck, you know, like one of the ones I like to watch. A lot is this one, The Night They Saved Christmas. I remember liking this one a lot when I was a kid. It's like this weird movie of like um, this mom right there. And it starts, it has Art Carney as Santa Claus. He was in that really great Twilight Zone episode, Night of the Imp or something like that. It's called, but it plays a Santa Claus character. This one's pretty fun though. Like, like the kids have to go and save Santa Claus's city because if they don't this his his dad will uh, demolish in the place so it's like a weird kind of a thing so yeah so it's kind of cool and then um of course jack frost teenage Mutant turtles we wish you a turtle christmas really good and bad like i'll pop, pop this on a little bit later on um it's really horrible like it's only 25 minutes long but it actually feels like it's, it's longer because it's so bad <laughs> And this one, I was watching this uh, last night, actually, which I've been watching every year since I got this. I have actually have two copies of it right there. But this one has, like, the cool price tag. It says, like, $19.95 on it. And uh, price slightly higher in Canada. This one's, like, a really, like, cringe fest uh, Santa Claus movie. These two kids go to try to find Santa Claus, and they, they, they end up doing it so they can bring their, so he can bring his parents together. But it's like so weird because like ogre that wants to eat the kids. And it's like these like these these like songs, like these crappy kind of songs. It's like filmed really bad and like low. It's like really low budget and really strange. And then Santa Claus goes to Africa to try to find the parents. So he's like walking around as Santa in the hot deserts of Africa. It's it's like really odd. It's just it's such a weird, low budget good one. Like this one is really good weird. And of course to get that lenticular. Of Jack Frost too, actually looks pretty good like that. Good stuff with that. Elves, which I was watching that with uh, when Brennan was here, the Fluffy Gamer. And over here we get some of the, um, you know, the DVDs. We got my Silent Night, Deadly Night collection with the cool NECA figure right there. Got that last year from Diana, and then you get the you know, Jack Frost DVD and some other stuff kind of mixed in there. And then also, I love these ones right here. Like, I've showed this before a couple of times. Like, Santa Claus, the movie with Dudley Moore. One of my favorites ever. I love this movie. Such a great movie. And then up here, you have the Claymation Christmas Special, which is really good. I got that recorded on VHS, which I'll bust out the VHS and watch it tomorrow night on Christmas Eve. Because it has, like, the old commercials on there with, like, with like uh, you know, sun-kissed, you know, fruit snacks and, like, McDonald's commercials like from 1987 
from the special. So that is a gem of mine. But some, you know, just some fun stuff. I got some other things here I, didn't, I, I forgot to even mention. But those are the main ones I always like to check out around this time of year. Like a little weird uh, side thing. I was telling this to Sean the other day. And like a weird thing I like to do sometimes for Christmas time is like I probably get it from we were talking about how I like I like to buy myself a gift. I got a sort of like a small little gift, like a movie or whatever, or like a toy or something, whatever it might be, like a figure. And I wrap it up, and I put it under the Christmas tree, <laughs> and then I open it up on Christmas Day, like like I'm surprised, but I bought it myself. It's just like a do you guys ever do that? It's like, it's like a weird thing. And we were talking, I was telling Sean about this, and there's an episode of Mr. Bean where he does that same thing, like he he buys himself something, and then he friggin' like um, he like unwraps it. And like, like it's like a surprise. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know. It's like maybe I, I got that idea probably from Mr. Bean way back in the day. But I don't know if you guys ever have done that before. Like you buy yourself something on Christmas. Like it's like a stocking stuffer or whatever. And I put, sometimes I'll write, even write in a tag. I'll put like to Danny from Santa Claus. Or I'll put to Danny from Danny. Like like something stupid. I do, I do it every year. And it's just like a, for the past like, I don't know, 15, 16, 17, 18 years or so. Like odd. One of the ones I, I did for myself, I remember vividly, is right in here. One of the first ones I've done, I think, I definitely remember, is this one. Oops. The Stranglemania 2, which is right up here. Hosted, you know, ICP Stranglemania. This is the part two. I remember buying this back, I think, like, 98 or something like that at a like, warehouse music. And I remember, I think I started that then where I, I gifted this to myself. Like, like a weird fool. It's like, this is hosted by an insane clown posse. I think this was like 20 bucks or something like that. I bought it, you know, from way back then. I think ever since then, I would like do that. Like, it's like a, like a weird goof thing. Gotta have some of this. Do a little salute, you know what I mean? Some some Southern Comfort eggnoggy. All right, I want to wish everyone out there a very, very happy holiday and a very, very Merry Christmas and whatever you guys celebrate out there. I want you guys to have a great, wonderful time with family and friends and then you know, remember the people from the past are no, no longer with us and just have, you know, it's the greatest to remember and have a great time and, you know, just remember that what you did this past year and just have a great time with family and friends like that. So I salute you all right there. Have a great, happy holiday and Merry Christmas to everyone out there. I'll catch you guys later on the next video. Oh, yes, I will. Mm. <sighs> that likes some eggnog. And it went on my beard mustache. Look at that. Mmm. A little messy I am. I'll see you later.